Hello, I'm Robin. My name is Bruce. I'm Tyler. Christopher and I started dating January 2nd, 2015. When we first met, he was so charming and so sweet. He'd buy me flowers and take me out. The gifts were nice, but that's not why I stayed. I stayed because he loved me and I loved him. I liked the fact that she cared for me so much, that she liked me for me and not for who she wanted me to be. I became distant from my friends but I figured they were just jealous, and that's understandable. Uh, we'd talk about it for a little while, but things came up, and I couldn't stay and waste my time on them. She said if they wouldn't support us, then I shouldn't see or speak to them anymore. And then he began to change. He started to yell and push me around. He'd say he'd leave, and then I'd have no one, because no one could love me as much as he does. Then she'd say she's sorry, and i just make her so angry sometimes. But what did I do wrong? He'd buy me flowers and take me out, and then he'd use that against me. The gifts were nice, but that's not why I stayed. I'd like to think she cared and that she liked me for me, but she changed me. When she put her anger on me, I would carry that around with me, and I would hurt the people around me. I lost my friends, stopped talking to my family, and I felt alone. One in three young people will be in an unhealthy or abusive relationship. Roughly 1.5 million high school boys and girls in the U.S. are victims of dating violence, both physically and or mentally. 50% of teens who experience abuse will attempt suicide. The trick question is, what does an unhealthy relationship look like? and how to get out of one safely if you're in one. Most unhealthy relationships begin with isolation, like when your partner tries to keep you away from people close to you, like your friends. They begin to get controlling, telling you what to wear, who to hang around. They become needy and try to manipulate you into thinking that you're the problem when you're not. They even have you call, text, or send pictures to them of everywhere you have been and who you are with. When you see these signs, you should Tell an adult. Tell your partner to meet you in a public place. Be a little loud so the people around you know what's going on. Have someone waiting with you. And when you're finished, walk away. Always remember that love shouldn't hurt. And hands are for holding. Hands are for holding. Hands are for holding.